Please sit down. Sit with both legs forward and spread, like that. Place both hands on the floor. Substantial distance behind you, so you can lean on them. Slowly lift your right leg from the floor. Lift your right heel very slowly. Leg is straight, the right leg, like that. Lift uh, about 20 times, slowly, slowly. Like that. And now do the same thing with the second leg, the left leg. Do not bend your elbows, please. Like that. Lie on your back and rest a moment. Return to sitting in the same position, please. Return, lift your right leg in the air and try making clockwise circles with it. Imagine a clock in front of you and you move your leg around that clock. The knees straight. Like that, rest a moment. Return. Now circle your right leg in the opposite direction. Change the direction. Do not bend your elbows. Elbows are straight. Like that, rest a moment. On your back, rest a moment.
return to sitting and do the same with your left leg in the clockwise direction clockwise direction first the legs are spread please First, spread your legs, then make the circles. Don't rush. Listen that you do not bend your elbows. Rest a moment. And do the same thing counterclockwise. Like that. Rest a moment. And now, sit again. Lean on both hands. Lift both legs and begin making circles with them. Move your right leg clockwise, your left leg counterclockwise. Lean on your hands comfortably, slowly, slowly, not fast. Rest a moment. Return. Do the same thing in the opposite direction. Change the direction of each leg moves. Your legs remain straight. The circles are small, but they are circular. Like that. Rest a moment. Please sit again, lengthen and spread your legs, bend your head and let it hang down. Interlace your fingers, hang your hands behind your bent head, lower your elbows. And now begin lifting your right leg each time you lower your head. It, it is not important how high your right heel lifts. It is a difficult movement. So make small movements. Not, not fast, not high. You lift your leg when you lower your head. Do not do the, the, 
Do not do it one after the other. Do both at the same time. When you lower your head, you lift your, le your right leg. You must round your back and sit backwards. There isn't any other way. You must round and lower your back. You need to lower your back if you want to lift your leg easily. You need to take your shoulders backwards and round your back like that. You need to round your back and take your whole body backwards. And then it's not difficult to lift your right leg. And now do the same thing with the other leg, your left leg. Not suddenly. Slowly, slowly. Round the back so your left leg is balanced like a seesaw. When your body is round, all the efforts are unnecessary. If you need to raise and lower your leg quickly, your torso is not round enough, you're not balanced. This needs to be easy to do. If it is not easy, your back is not round enough. Like that. Please rest a moment. Like that. Please sit again. Change the interlace of your fingers. Non-habitual interlacing. Place your hands behind your head. And now, slowly lift both legs. Slowly, slowly. It will be easy if you round your back and move slowly. Your knees are straight. Don't do these tricks. Don't move quickly. Lift your heels a little. Slowly. Your legs are spread. The more your legs are spread, the easier it is to do. Like that. Lie on your back and rest a moment. Please sit, spread your legs, 
Place your right leg standing on the floor. Lean on your left hand behind you. Lower your head. Turn your face to the left. And then hang your right hand on your left ear from behind. Your right forearm is hanging. First, bend your head and turn your face to the left. Next, you reach behind your head and hang your hand on your left ear. Do not reach above the head, behind it. Lower your head. Fold your body in the direction of your left knee. And now do the following. Lift your left leg each time you lower your head. Lower your head and lift your left leg from the floor. Lift it with straight knee. Round your back. Make small delicate movement. It is not difficult if you organize yourself. Let your air out of your lungs as you bend. Lift your left leg as little as you bend. Do it slowly, without force. Do not make effort. Do it slowly. Make your neck soft so your hand doesn't need to drag. Don't pull on your neck. Observe where your back feels too tight, short. Soften these places. So each movement will be a little easier to do. It needs to become easier from movement to movement. Lift your left leg and direct your elbow towards your knee. Direct your knee toward the elbow. Doesn't mean that they touch. They might touch later when your back is softened and round. Like that. Leave it and rest a moment. Let's try the same thing without lifting your leg. Put your right foot standing on the floor. Turn your face to the left. Lean on your left hand. Hang your right hand behind your head. Direct your right elbow towards your knee. Do that many times, slowly, no force, no forcing, no forcing. Your left hand is behind you on the floor. It is enough to do a movement which allows the air to come out and then the rest will let go. Listen to how you do each movement so that the next one will be easier. Do it a little easier each time. Now, bring lift your left leg a few times. Do the same thing as before. Round your body each time so you can lift your knee easily. The whole leg, the whole leg, not only the knee. The, the, of course, 
it's 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 a straight leg you can do what you can don't do more than you can if your hand is not hanging on the ear it is twice as difficult your hand should not be holding the back of your head you need to make the back of your neck soft do not pull on it you mean you need to be softening your chest and rounding your back fold your chest and let the air come out It is not about uh, doing the movement. It is about improving your back. Leave that. Lie on your back and rest a moment. Please sit again. Do the same thing to the other side. Put the left foot standing on the floor. Lower your head. Lean your right hand on the floor behind you. Turn your face to the right. And only then hang your left hand behind your ear. Keep your face turned to the right before placing your left hand on your ear. Anyone who pre- pre- prepares his left hand earlier obstructs himself and creates unnecessary effort. Slowly lower your left elbow in the direction of your knee. Lean on your right hand. Allow the air to come out of your lung as you fold. Fold your chest. Lengthen your back. Make small movements. Each time make it easier and simpler. Softly. Listen for every places that pull or stretch. That is where you need to be longer to reduce your effort. In those places. And now, every time you bend forward like this, lift your right leg at the same time. Straight leg. Like that. Lie on your back and rest a moment. Like that. Return to sit with your right foot standing on the floor. And now lower your head. Lean only on your right hand. Turn your nose to the right. After your head is bent forward. 
The whole face turns to the right. Remain in this position and hang your left hand on your right ear. Start tilting your head so that your left ear is directed toward your right knee many times. Left ear on your left on your right knee. Slow many times. And now you need to let your the air come out of your lung. Lengthen your back and make it so that each movement is easier than the previous one. Left hand, left hand is behind your head. Like that. Your hand is not at the back of your neck, but on your ear. Like that. Rest a moment. Return to the same position exactly. Right knee stands, left hand behind the ear, behind the right ear. Begin taking your left elbow to the other side of your knee. Do that movement many times. Before the end of the lesson, you will see that many of you will touch your elbow to the floor. In the beginning, it doesn't seem like that. Move slowly. Don't push. Don't force. Make every movement easier than the previous one. Let the air come out of your lungs. Lengthen your back. Lengthen your chest, soften your shoulders. You will find that your elbow sinks with each movement. Round your back. Lengthen your back. Make each movement easier. Do not rush. Leave it and rest a moment. Please sit, put your left foot standing, lower your head, turn your face to the left, and only then hang your right hand on your left ear. Bring your right ear in the direction of the knee. First the ear to the knee. 
the ear, the ear to the knee, the ear, the ear, not something else. Be sure your face is turned completely to the left. Your ear must be directed clearly to the knee. Before the direction of your ear is accurate, there's no point in bringing the elbow to the outside of the knee. Don't rush. Do a movement with each breath. Like that. And now attempt to bring your right elbow to the outside of your right knee. Also here, do it very, very slowly and make each movement lighter than the previous one, slower than the previous one. Slowly, slowly. Like that. Leave that. L lie on your back and rest. Like that. And now, again, sit and spread your legs. Interlace your fingers again and lower your head again. Hang your hands behind your head. Try again to bend your body, lower your head, lift both legs off the floor. Like that. Not, not fast, slowly. Your legs should not fall back to the floor. You need to place them onto the floor, slowly, slowly. Lift your legs as you lower your head. Bend your body and lift your legs at the same time. Round your back, lower your head and lift your legs at the same time. Those that do it with momentum like an exercise, the lesson is useless for them. Please do it slowly so you can balance your body. Many of you do it nicely. Round your back, bend your chest, so it is easy to lift your legs. Don't use momentum. You have to do it slowly, slowly. It's difficult to do. Put both hands on the floor behind your back. 
Now lower your head, lift both legs. Remain with both legs straight and lifted in the air and make circles with your two legs. First, move both legs clockwise. Start moving your right leg clockwise and your left leg counterclockwise. And then change the direction. The legs are very straight, completely straight. Please leave it. Lie on your back and rest. Notice how is lying on the floor different? What parts of your back seem to contact the floor that you haven't felt before? There are clear parts of your back that touch the floor now that previously they did not. Of course, they are behind your belt, on the lower, behind your lower back, near your lumbar spine. That area feels different than before. Please roll on your side and stand up. Feel the difference by, while standing. <laughs> 